Hi, I'm Sarah of St. Pete Ferment, and today I'm going to show you how to turn this cabbage into magical sauerkraut using only wild yeast and bacteria that I'm breathing right now in the air. <sighs> All we need today is cabbage and salt. Some other kitchen tools and equipment you're going to need are something to cut on, cutting board, a jar or something to ferment in, a bowl, and a knife, and a gram scale. Let's begin! I like to chop my sauerkraut somewhat fine. Uh, you can make it more coarse or finer depending on how you like it, as long as all the pieces are somewhat uniform. Be sure to save an outer leaf of the cabbage because we're gonna use it later. Next, we're gonna weigh out 600 grams of the cabbage we just shredded. Next, I'm going to add 15 grams of sea salt. Adding the proper amount of sea salt is super important when making fermented foods. It allows for a comfortable environment for beneficial microbes to grow. I live in Florida, which is a warm climate, so I am going to use a 2.5% salinity by weight, which means 2.5% of all of my sauerkraut is going to be sea salt. I'm just going to take that 15 grams of sea salt and sprinkle that into my cabbage shreds. We're just gonna massage this all up together. You know you're ready for the next step when you squeeze your cabbage shreds and brine drips easily. Now we're gonna pack all of this into our vessel. As you're packing all of this, you wanna make sure that you're pressing it as tightly as you can, getting rid of any air bubbles. And once you have everything packed tightly, you're going to use that outer cabbage leaf from earlier and place that on top. It's gonna keep everything nice and oxygen free during the fermentation process. The goal is to keep everything pressed below the brine. Once everything is packed and settled in, you're just going to screw a cap onto your jar and make sure you have a couple inches of headspace because things are gonna expand during the fermentation process. We're gonna place this jar in a bowl. That way if any brine spills during the fermentation process, um, you have something to catch it. During the first four to five days of fermentation is when your sauerkraut is going to be most active and you wanna keep it pressed below the brine at least once a day. After about a week, you can give it a taste and see if it's sour to your liking. I like to ferment my sauerkraut for about three weeks. At that point, when it's done fermenting, it won't be as bubbly and active. The texture will change. It'll be a little more translucent and have good flavor. You can stick this in your fridge where it will last well over a year. So what is wild fermentation? Basically, we're transforming food through the process of microbes metabolizing nutrients. There's all kinds of foods that can be fermented. Uh, really any kind of food can be fermented through this process of microbial magic. Some of the benefits of making fermented foods is that it's easy, it's low input, you don't need a lot of tools and equipment, you don't need any special machines, you really don't even need electricity, which is one reason I love it so much. It's a really sustainable way to make food. It's also, of course, extremely healthy. Everyone's trying to better their microbiome, and what better way than to consume cultured foods that have beneficial microbes. These beneficial microbes help to pre-digest our food so we can absorb more nutrients, and it's just easier on our digestive system. One of my absolute favorite ways to eat sauerkraut is in a grain bowl. Grain bowls are so nice because you can use whatever rice or beans, eggs, tempeh, fresh veggies, anything you want, you can make it yours and sauerkraut just sets it off. It's so delicious and so good. My fermentation journey began about eight years ago. I was fermenting at home. I started with kombucha and I just really fell in love with the process and the taste and that really resonated with me. I felt like this was something I could bring back to St. Petersburg and share with my community. Now we've been operating for almost five years and we're super thankful 
to our city and our community. We supply vegetable ferments like sauerkraut, lacto-fermented pickles of all kinds, kimchi, bikavas, and kombucha. Now you've made your sauerkraut. Congratulations! The hardest part is waiting. Uh, I believe fermentation is for everyone and it's, uh, it's simple. You just gotta try it. I hope it goes well for you. Just enjoy it and have fun with it. <laughs>